Hey Toy Addicts, it's Jody, and I came across this garage estate sale, clear out sale, whatever, recently, and they had a whole bunch of Fisher Price fun with food pieces and parts. There's some other stuff in here too, and a few little little people things, but I kind of have a little bit of idea of where some of these things go. You know, because like, obviously these are teacups, so they go with a tea set, but, um, I don't know exactly. And the thing with Fisher Price or with anything, really, I like to do the research and figure out specifically what things are. I mean, I could just do a lot and say Fisher Price dishes and get maybe 10 or $15, but if I can find what set things go with, I can put in the sets, I can put in the set number, and I can have the collectors who are specifically looking for these pieces find the pieces, which means I can make more money. So, and especially if I have some complete sets, which I don't think I do here, but um, the thing is, it's a little tough to research these on eBay because you can say, you know, orange spatula and maybe this will come up and maybe it won't. But I do have a website to show you. It's called thisoldtoy.com and it is a great resource for researching Fisher Price toys. They go back to the 30s and they come up through, there is some stuff on there that's like early 2000s but they kind of stopped in the late 90s to early 2000s. And anything newer than that, you usually can find on eBay pretty well. So that's not really as much of a concern. But if you find some of this older stuff, the stuff is from the 80s and 90s. And some of this stuff over here might even be 70s. You can find it on that page pretty easily. So I'm going to go over to the computer and I'm going to show you how to do some research on this old toy.com to figure out what your Fisher Price items are to maximize the amount of money that you can make from them. Well, let's see here. I have like an ice cream scoop and some tongs, salt and pepper shakers, bowls, pans, cups, plates, and a dish drainer. This is a thing of eggs <laughs> and cupcakes and some blueberry muffins, a box of fries, which doesn't look great, unfortunately, but does have some of the fries in it and all kinds of kitchen utensils here. So let's see what we can find out. Here's the website, it's thisoldtoy.com. And this site was created, I'm sure, sometime in the 90s when it was very popular to have a website with all the information about the thing you collected. I wish people still did that. <laughs> but um, as you can see here, all the classic FP, which is Fisher Price toys from your childhood, 30s to 90s. And like I said, there are some things in the early 2000s here, but that's kind of about where they stop. So on this site, you scroll down to the bottom here. You can click on these and go by years. Um, if you scroll down to the bottom here, they have a little menu, toys by model number. If you know the model number, um, a lot of Fisher Price items have the model number right on them. Subject. Um, resources would be different links and stuff. They also sell t-shirts and they sell some items as well. But what we are going to focus on today is toys by subject. Um, right here they have people ID also, which is any kind of people versions of any Fisher Price toys. So you can click on that if you aren't sure exactly what you've got. But today we're going to look at toys by subjects. So we'll click there and they have them in different departments here. And we are going to do fun with food. That's what we're focusing on today. So we're going to go down to play sets 
And if you just hover over it, this um, all their different aisles come up here. So we'll go ahead and click on the fun with food. Now, when you open up this page, you can see that it just lists a lot of the, um, or probably all of the different toy lines. But if we don't know which one, which toy set that it came with, up here, it's easy to miss, but it says below you'll find a list of all known Fisher Price Fun with Food sets in order by model number. If you'd like to see a list of all accessories sold in the sets, click here for the Fun with Food Identification Main Index. Now they have this for little people, they have this for adventure people, they have this for the different dolls, this same kind of main index, which is exactly what we're looking for here. So up here it says sorted by category. So we can go ahead and say, for instance, we are looking at this pair of salt and pepper shakers. It came with um, this lot that I got. I'll put the picture on the bottom of the screen here. I'm going to look through here. Let's see. Beverages, condiments, containers, condiments. Here we have pepper shakers, salt shakers. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then you'll see any different ones that are made. Some of them, they don't have pictures just because they maybe didn't ever get an individual item of that. But you can still look and see. It still gives you a description and everything. Um, and so it's kind of easy to figure out. So here's this pink salt shaker that we have right here. And if we were to scroll down, oh, these are just salt shakers, I guess. Um, there's another page for pepper shakers. They're very in-depth on this website. So um, this is definitely the salt shaker we have. So then we have three choices here. It's the all-in-one kitchen center. It's the four-in-one super set or another year of the all-in-one kitchen center. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to open up two of these. So here's the all-in-one kitchen center, which is this whole kitchen set. And um, I don't think that that's the correct one. Just from my experience, I'm pretty sure it is this four-in-one super set. So let's click on the larger photo here and take a look. Here's the set, and this actually looks like a lot of the pieces that we have. You can't see them over very well, but over here you have the cups. And of course, this is the dish dispenser. There's the bowls and the plates. And oftentimes when there's sets like these, um, the colors could be different. They have variations. So, for instance, we have a pink version of this pot instead of a white version. And we have a pink version of this pan instead of a white version. So, they, the colors can change somewhat. But it looks like we have quite a bit of this set. So, right off the top there, I can identify a whole bunch of the things that we have just by looking at this set. Now, the, um, the benefit of doing this instead of just selling the listings on eBay is people will buy, if they have this four-in-one super set and they're a collector, they will buy, you know, a bowl that's missing or a plate that's missing. Now, the, the prices aren't real high for those on a lot of these sets, Um unless it's a super desirable one like the McDonald's ones and stuff, you can sell those individually for pretty good money, but these are probably about $5 each. And I could definitely make money selling all these things for $5 each, but I'm more interested in selling the majority of this. Set. So let's go over and look at eBay and see if we can find this set. Someone has got a couple of pieces from the set that some of the pieces that we have here that are um, being sold for replacements. 
Now you can see their price here, 263 and 352. That's pretty low prices, but also the shipping is $7.10, which I'm not sure why that is. That seems a little outrageous. But somebody might not know who's selling that this is called the 4-in-1 Super Set. So people do have some some of the, the similar sets with the dish drainers listed. 47 with some of the items that go with the dish drainer. Let's see what the solds are. Twenty six ninety nine forty eight. So this is more like what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a good solid price. Now here is now of course our dish drainer is white. We have the um, the more girl centric version of it, which is fine. But here we've got family dinnerware set dish rack drainer. So we've got the dish drainer, which we have. Looks like there's bowls and plates, which we have. Um, the tongs, which we have. So we have quite a bit more. We don't have the silverware, unfortunately, which is um, sort of harder to find. But we do have some of the pots and pans. We do have the salt and pepper shaker. So I think I'm going to list these for $60. Yeah, I'm pretty, I, I think I'm pretty happy with that. I think um, we'll probably, you know, I take offers on everything. So um, I'll take the first solid $50 offer that comes in. All right, now if we go back to the index, you can clearly see here that I don't have the entire an entire tea set. I don't have the tray or anything like that. So these are most likely going to have to be sold um, in small lots or pretty individually. So let's look at these um, saucers. I have these pink saucers, and I'm going to find dishes, plates, and saucers. I'm going to click there. And I'm going to scroll down till I get to pink stuff. They keep them pretty well in order by color. Okay, here's my my saucers right here. So I have the uh, tea and tray set, which I will right click to open, and the whistling tea set. So let's look at the whistling tea set first. They do not have a photo. Small white teacups, no. Round pink coffee saucers. So this could go with um, the whistling tea set. Number number 2130. So if we were to list just these four saucers on their own, um, I would put this number and this number in the title for people who are looking for replacements. Because we know from looking at this that these saucers go with both of these sets. So I can put 2009 and 2131 in my title for collectors who are looking to complete those sets. Let's look at a larger photo of this set. So it looks like I also have three of the teacups to go with that. I also have the two, two spoons that go with that set. Um, so I'll list those probably individually. And then I also have the sugar bowl that goes with this set. So um, all of these will probably get listed individually because we're still missing one of the cups, we're missing the tray, and we're missing the teapot. We can see that the tea sets, even complete, really don't sell for that much money. And so this is a situation where you could definitely do better selling things individually. Like right here, we can see three of these saucer plates sold for $10. 
and I have four of them, so I put them on for maybe $12. And then if I'm selling them like this, in this case, I would put both of those part numbers on here um, for the both sets. Since we're here on the site, let's take a look at a few other things that you might be researching. Let's go to the dolls and maybe look at my friend dolls. So they have, again, at the top, they've got the my friend doll ID. So we'll go to that and we have the dolls, the instructions, the patterns. So every piece and part they have split out on this website. All the different types of clothes, the different kinds of shoes and everything. So let's click on dolls. And so if you find a doll like this, it's a Fisher Price doll. You can say what, you can figure out what um, doll it was. If you find a doll and maybe a bag of miscellaneous clothes that fit, you can find out what clothes they were wearing. Click on this doll and you can see her outfit, Jenny's outfit over here. So it really is a very helpful website. Let's look at one more thing. How about if we do, let's look at um, the original Little People. Okay, so again, there's just a ton of things listed. But we can go to the Little People ID page. Animal items, building structures, furniture, hospital items. There's so many items with Little People. So hopefully that helps you to identify some of your older Fisher Price items and kind of help you figure out how to sell them and get the most money for them. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. If you like these reseller content videos, I've got lots of other ones. You can look on my um, reseller playlist and watch lots of other fun videos that um, have some hopefully helpful information. See you next time. Bye.